persons in uh, um, in a job means we have to see the uh, eligibility of the person is the person right uh, to keep in that particular place okay for this we need certain information of that particular person the performance levels or the capability levels of that particular person now depending upon that information only we can place the person in a particular place so this is known as the operational hris this is purely related to the hiring of employee or career planning of an employee or competency of an employee okay this one next coming to tactical hris what does this means means how uh, efficiently we are using the resources okay uh, here the resources means we will we'll see about the man material machinery and money okay how uh, efficiently we are using all these resources at the same time here um, usages of resources means here recruiting job design analysis okay employee training compensation benefits in the organization all these can be seen under usage of resources okay uh, in all these aspects uh, manager should take decisions okay while recruiting he has to take decisions okay in this uh, while recruiting um, any people means he should have a data regarding that particular individual or else if he is um, analyzing the job okay for uh, uh, giving any uh, promotions okay in that basis he should analyze the person's abilities he should analyze the person a person's qualifications uh, he should analyze the person's performance levels he should analyze the achievement of goals okay departmental wise goals or organizational goals uh, all these aspects will be and uh, studied under tactical hris and coming to strategic hris it comes of use when a company is looking to expand or grow strategically okay uh, strategically in the sense a proper planning should be made okay we have to know about our resources uh, in that sense uh, for example uh, expanding of our organization it is not a, a small decision it is a big decision expanding our organization means so because why because it incurs many resources it incurs financial resources it incurs human resources okay it incurs uh, raw materials okay so likewise expanding of a organization means it deals with uh, many uh, many other aspects so um, we have to analyze the how much uh, workforce we needed okay uh, proper planning should be made regarding resources also so this is known as a strategic hris so in order to know the workforce of our organization what are the resources that are available to our organizations and what resources do we need uh, while we are going for expanding means all this will be uh, studied under uh, strategic hris okay so uh, in this we will have uh, the data stored all the data regarding all this planning part okay and comprehensive hris means it is more of everything involved in hr actions so as i said before comprehensive is nothing but the all elements were considered here okay all the hr elements we have subsystems in hr okay as i said before uh, we have subsystems like a competitive planning um, manpower planning okay competency planning career planning a performance appraisal okay all these are the subsystems that were involved in the hr okay and all these will can be taken into consideration okay while uh, uh, file files are maintained okay uh, and information is uh, regard uh, stored regarding the um, what were the opening positions in our organization uh, the hiring details and the job analysis that is known as a job description okay and the designing of the job okay what were the guidelines regarding the employee safety what uh, guidelines are taken by the organization taken by the top management regarding the uh, safety and security of employee so all these details all the details all elements all subsystems um, aspects will be seen in comprehensive hris that is the meaning of comprehensive all the elements will be taken not only one subsystem all the elements will be taken here and all the elements data will be stored in comprehensive hris okay and coming to benefits what were the benefits of hris means 
uh, it offers a sufficient comprehensive and ongoing information about people and job basically as i said before hris is uh, pertaining to three aspects it is uh, it, it studies about the people it gathers information about job about the organization people job organization so all these aspects will be covered under hris so it is a comprehensive uh, hris so by this uh, comprehend by the comprehensive hris we will get a sufficient information and an ongoing information of each and everything about people what are they doing what are their eligibilities okay each and everything of the individual and uh, and also about the job how the job is designed what is the analysis of the job okay and what what are the uh, um, requirements of the job all this can be studied under this uh, hris only okay so all the aspects will be covered and this is a benefit for the organization and to supply up to date information at a reasonable cost handling manually will be a difficult task compared to um, having a hris system in our organization so this is another benefit to offer data security and personal privacy also uh, compared to manual uh, uh, safety and security hris will be better than manual okay why because after some period of time uh, the um, information or the data stored may be deteriorated but compared to uh, this uh, system means here uh, safety and security will be at high level and higher speed of processing and retrieving data if at all suddenly if we want any persons any individuals data suddenly means manually means we have to do a lot of hectic work but coming to hris immediately we can uh, retrieve the data in the software okay so this these are the benefits and another thing is ease in uh, classifying and reclassifying data also so classifying and reclassifying data means nothing but uh, departmental wise hierarchy wise subsystem wise so uh, each and every we are uh, specifically classifying a particular uh, uh, people or particular job or particular hierarchy okay like that uh, classifying and again reclassifying in that system okay that is known as classifying and reclassifying and coming to better analysis leading to take more effective decisions okay by having each and every aspect each and every minor data is stored in hris so by this uh, effective decisions may be taken by the managers it, it will be very easy it will be very feasible to take immediate and effective decisions on on any uh, person or on any job code okay and what were the limitations regarding hris means it may be expensive in terms of finance and manpower it may be inconvenient for for organizations where people don't have understanding of using system it may not be suitable for organizations where people don't have database system okay these are the uh, three um, limitations means one is expensive because if uh, if at all we are uh, going to have a hris department means definitely we have to hire hire the technical people uh, because th those only can handle the hris system and that means the manpower technical manpower and we have we have to purchase the software system we have to purchase the equipment regarding the hris so this is a uh, expensive uh, and coming to if at all the people working in the organization then they don't know how to work on mis uh, managing information systems means it will be difficult task so it is a limitation and at the same time the organizations who are not, not having any data science or data analysis so for that organizations also it is also difficult to uh, have hris so it is another limitation and coming to steps in hris what are hris means what are the steps involved in it if we want to um, keep hris system in our organization means what is the process what process do we uh, have to follow first one is plan planning analyzing designing implementing and maintenance so what does planning means so planning is nothing but setting up uh, naturally we know what does the planning means planning is uh, setting up of our, uh, our objectives okay setting up of goals objectives for our organization here coming to planning means here do we require the hris system in our organization why because hris will be mostly helpful to the uh, the organizations with large size okay for large size of organizations they can have a hris system for a small uh, organizations with uh, who is uh, who is connecting in a just one room means they no need 
there is no need of having a hris system so likewise uh, first of all in the planning process uh, they should know the requirement of hris is hris required for our organization or not then feasibility study so how much cost we have to spend on that hris system okay uh, and what is the time needed okay now to which person we have to uh, hire okay all this we have to study in feasibility study uh, all the uh, aspects relating to hris from installing stage okay and selecting a team for implementing hris so uh, if we are, if at all we are in need we if at all we are in requirement of hris system in our organization means then we have to select a team for implementing hris why because technical people only can handle the hris system so um, uh, technical people with the uh, good qualifications are eligible persons competent persons we have to uh, take and uh, take them and we have to implement the hris system okay so selecting a team this is all under the part of planning coming to analyzing so what is analyzing means defining the requirement vendor selection negotiation so defining the requirement means uh, where do we need this hris system in our organization at the basement level or middle level or um, all the whole system in all the system we are using okay so we have to specifically uh, what is the requirement of hris we have to analyze okay then afterwards we have to go for vendor selection vendor selection means we may go for bidding process okay the person who gives at a low cost who, who provide the software at a low uh, cost means then we can uh, have that vendor so another analyzing part is selecting of the vendor and negotiation is nothing but if at all the vendor quotes more um, amount means then by negotiation by having a compromising agreement between the parties uh, we may uh, select the vendor and negotiate the agreement okay then designing means examining the flow of information assembling the subsystems identifying the gaps okay examining the flow of uh, information means so where the uh, we have to design the software system or hris system in such a way that the information should be uh, passed without any disturbance or disruption okay uh, from where to where the information should be communicated from where to where it should be passed uh, the flow of information okay uh, the sequence of the information should be uh, designed in such a way that it should be it should enable the hris a team to work on it okay next part is after examining the flow of information assembling the subsystems so uh, how this information should be passed down to the subsystems as i said before we have many subsystems so in uh, to which subsystem we have to assemble for uh, competency planning or for recruitment or for training and development or for career planning to which subsystem we have to assemble next to coming to identifying the gaps okay so if at all there is any gap between uh, in the flow of information means we have to identify and fill those gaps and coming to implementing what does implementing means training the people collecting the data implementing the system training the people in the sense that uh, we have to select the those people okay we have to select those people in hris and we have to train those people okay in such a way that they are they are uh, uh, easy to apply the hris system we have to train the people and afterwards they will collect the data in e from each subsystem they will collect the data and store the data and another one is implementing the system okay after collecting the data they, they will implement it in the system after collecting manually uh, they will uh, implement it in the hris system and coming to maintenance what is maintenance means time to time checkups and auditing to ensure so time to time checkups are they uh, collecting the information are they gathering the information are they storing the information from each and every subsystem and from each and every person okay there should be a time to time checkups and afterwards auditing should be made to ensure that uh, all the information is stored okay uh, and promptly they are taking the information so this can be known by 
proper auditing. So auditing ensures the maintenance of HRIS and coming to applications of HRIS where this HRIS can be applied. Okay, where, where, where can we use this HRIS system? So first one is job description. So under the job description produce printouts that describes the jobs according to the specifications and input by the user. So job description in the sense we will describe the job. Okay, what is the job? What were the qualifications of the job and how to do the job? What are what were the aspects that um, uh, under the job? So all will be stored in that particular uh, job. Okay, that is known as job description. Job description. So it describes purely about the job, what to do the job, what were the roles and responsibilities of the job. Okay, so uh, specifications will be given by the user. Next, HR planning. So under HR planning, forecasting the actual demand, okay, and calculating the surplus and shortage based on departments and projects. As we have different uh, uh, subsystems in the HR, so we will forecast the, for, if, for example, if at all we are going for recruitment means. So first of all, we need a, a data regarding our organizations, persons who are working in our organization, okay, then we have to see how much people are required for the organization or we have we, we can calculate uh, do the people working in our organization are surplus or, or else in shortage so depending upon that we we need uh, a planning regarding the recruitment so in hr planning hris will be effectively used because we are having a data and recruitment and selection process also in recruitment and selection the applicants will give their full information in the form of a resume or uh, bio data okay so this information will be stored in the hris and whenever they are in use okay they will see the applicant by tracking in the hris system so depending upon the eligibility of the person of the applicant the organization or the management will select those persons okay and this will happen only when uh, if at all the data of that applicant is in the form of uh, data stored data in hris system okay they will see is the person uh, matching to that job okay uh, depending upon the qualifications and capabilities they come to know that this person will be uh, suitable to that particular job okay for this we need a data so this can be done with the help of hris and training and development identifying training needs setting skills career planning so in training in uh, assessing the skills in career planning each and every aspect we need data for example uh, career planning in the sense giving promotions okay promotions to the employees if we want to give promotion to the employee means so we need a data regarding the employees working in our organization okay because uh, some people may work efficiently they may show increase in their performance levels to that persons we have to give promotions so in order to give promotions means we need some data of that particular individuals okay depending upon their uh, data we will give uh, career planning to those people okay likewise training needs also if at all the persons were not skilled they need some training so in order to give training to the underperformed people means definitely the data should be needed so depending upon the data they will assess the persons and they will give training to those persons next performance appraisal performance assessment or goal accomplishment reward management all these were done with the help of hris therefore all this can be done with the help of hris data okay so if in order to if we want to give rewards or uh, if we want to assess the goals achievement of goals or else performance assessment in each and every aspect okay we need definitely the data of individuals working in our organizations in order to analyze all these we need definitely data okay in this way here in performance appraisal we need the hris at the, at the same time job evaluation while evaluating the job okay that means determining the levels of the job and allocating uh, the marks or the scores okay so in in that process also we need hris and coming to compensation under compensation tracking analyzing and report of salaries all will be uh, known with the help of hris while uh, while we are giving a compensation or while we are giving any automated bonus for example so while giving bonus 
for each and every person the same will not be given depending upon the, uh, the job okay uh, job description job code the payments will be made for this they have to track they have to analyze okay they have to uh, take the reports and records of the persons okay they have to take pay grade structures okay all this lead to the uh, give, giving of compensation to the individuals in organization this can be enabled with the help of hris and coming to succession planning succession planning is nothing but a report candidates who are eligible and experience for the post position okay Suc succession planning or career planning okay in this the growth of the employee is taken into consideration okay so growth of the employee means for example promoting the employee okay promoting the employee means we need uh, certain data regarding that particular person and we have to uh, take some records of the candidates who are eligible for that particular position okay so therefore the, el the eligibility and the experience of the person will be taken into consideration and uh, uh, in succession planning in the application of succession planning HRIS is definitely needed because without the data we, we cannot do all these things so therefore finally we can conclude that in job description HR planning recruitment and selection training and development performance appraisal job evaluation compensation succession planning in all aspects we need HRIS okay.